Hello everyone, today I'll be covering aspects that you should be aware of when playing Nine Chronicles. These topics are often asked on our Discord, and some of them are actually very important, like ensuring you're able to recover your account in the case of reinstalling Windows or loss of files. So let's get to it. The first topic will be the topic of NTG. How can you acquire NTG? There are various ways from selling items on the marketplace, joining giveaways, and joining events. Once mining is back, you will be able to earn NCG this way as well. The most important information for account recovery is the private key. This is equivalent of a password for the centralized wallet and you should have a copy of this at all times. If you lose this private key and you do not have a copy of a key file, the account will be non-recoverable. If you're unsure how to take a copy of your key file, please ask in the Discord. The next topic is upgrading and crafting. Let's start with upgrading. To upgrade an item you require two copies of an item in the same tier and the same grade, 2 times plus 2, 2 times plus 1, etc. This means that you can use items as food even if they are items with different names. Example, you can use a black crow sword to upgrade a heavy sword as they are in the same tier, blue or tier 3. You essentially want to craft the cheapest item in a tier to ensure the efficiency of your materials, thereby you want to use a black crow sword to upgrade anything in tier 3, including heavy swords. Another big misconception is that the upgrade ranges are not fixed. A basic craft or premium craft or even the items element does not impact the upgrade parameters. These have fixed ranges. Once more, allowing you to use the cheapest upgrade item as food without any drawbacks. Using this information, you'll be a master upgrader in no time. Right, so now that you've understood what to craft and how to upgrade, what should I spend my portal NTG on? You're given a very limited amount with the portal and you obviously want to spend very efficiently. But here's the catch. You have just started the game and you cannot identify what is and what isn't a good purchase. My suggestion is to keep your NTG for later. The start of the game, up to around stage 170, is fairly straightforward and will teach you the elemental advantage and what stats are more important. This will then give you the experience to identify bad purchases from good later on. Not to mention, it will stop you from spending NTG on an item you can craft by yourself fairly easily in a few days. How does time flow in 9C? Or how do I get more action points? Well, they're both linked. In 9C, everything runs on blocks, as it is a blockchain game. This means that anything that advises you a real-time countdown, like the arena, or in this case, where I'm using Pandora blocks, are pure estimates based on the current block speed. This varies depending on the load of the blockchain, and you can see the current state under 9cscan.com. Alright, now that you understand how the time flows, what does this have to do with action points? Well, at the top, you can see a pink bar at the top. Once completed, you can exchange it for a full bar of action points. You can see in which current block you are on the bottom right if you're using Pandora Box, or the bottom left if you use the original client. Once you reach level 15, you'll unlock the arena. The arena of season will you provide with food materials. And during PvP events will reward you NCG or medals. In case you wish to use consumables, if you use the stage selection screen instead of the quest tooltip, it will allow you to add food before entering the stage. This will also allow you to do any quick changes in case this stage requires more AoE or more single target focus. This is all I've got for you today. Thank you very much. See you next time.